Hello everyone, it's Jerry, Old Guys Review. So I'm going to tell you right now. So I gave you guys a heads up about the P802 that I was going to take my sweet time, which I am. What are we going on now? Two weeks? I will have something to show you in this video, which... I hadn't intended to, but I already had one of you, Eagle Eyes, detective-like subscribers already tell me what I'm building. So, since I have the one guess already, I decided that unlike my normal ones where I show the before and then the after, you're going to get a middle. I'm going to talk about a little of the stuff that I've done already. But. I have to go outside now that I have some snow and do some tests with the 803. To see if I want to bother with my diff solution. See how well it drives in the snow. Before I do it to the 802. But, I am thinking that with no weight on the back, the 802, Audrey, Audrey, stop, that with the 802, are you just going to keep doing that? Because you're goofy? Yep, daddy's got the girls out in the shop with him today. So, back to the diff action. Now, I've watched Bob at Hobby Concepts, who has a video of him um, taking the rear end apart on the 802. I think his is the 801 he takes. No, it is an 802. And I don't like the amount of plastic that's in there. So... I'm going to test this out pretty good first. It's not that this is going to be a high mileage rig and I'm worried about melting that rear end, but just want to do some testing first. So, I'm going to tell you if anyone wants to go to the extremes that I am going right now, you are going to need a lot of space. I'll tell you now this is been dissembled further than I've dissembled any of the HGs before and wow these guys they're putting in the time at the factory so like I gave you in my little tidbit on Friday here's a few of the 13 components that constitute the cab now you're going to see, you're going to get to see the color scheme now. So this needs a lot more detailing, but the primaries have been taken care of. There's the top part. Came out pretty nice. Mirrors, wipers, door handles, I don't care if they're already black, they're not flat black. All the windows come out pretty good. The dash needs some more, but I've done the whole steering column and everything is black now. All the wheels are done. Since I didn't want tan nice flat black the inside of the wheel just so when you don't see it generally if you've got your wheel turned that's right you'll see that I didn't do it perfect because the tan makes it look like you've got dirt inside your wheels so I love that part now we're going to go over to the table of many things. 
So, here's where we're at. And we, are, are, we have already surpassed two cans of flat black. There's your gutted out, gutted out cab. These are all finishing up another day of drying so that I can use my flat clear on them. Even though I used flat paint and matte paint, I wanted to make it even flatter. Oh, there we got our spare tire sitting on its fender. Did up the little winch, which I errorously mentioned that that felt like metal before. It's not. It's plastic. So it's going to get some actual metal braided cable on it. Picture frame wiring, excellent. Got our, this needs a whole lot more detailing. It's just got its rough beginning paint on it. Started to do a little detailing on the old generator house. That's gonna need a lot more detailing. It's gonna have a lot more flat. It's pretty much gonna be mostly black, flat black, and this matte red. Once I'm done, I'll show you that. That's a new new product. Air housing in a different color, sort of chrome looking gray. Got to have your uh, all your mud flap holders because there's no coloration back here. So we're going to break that up with some black. Decided to go with the chrome fuel tank. Hmm. Whatever could this be? Did my rusty looking exhaust, not super rusty, just war looking with flat. The other, how, the other fender liner, and of course all the flat black front end components. Fell off my little thing there. Now, of course, I still need to do the exhaust lines, exhaust manifolds, but that whole body, I got it as good painted as I can, but you get to see a little bit. There's a spot in there, right here. Looks dirty. So, another day of drying on this, and slowly I'll be able to start detailing, doing more of the fine detail, and getting it ready to start putting together with a quick swoop. So there we go, just my little quick walk around show you where we're at once now i'm sitting i'll be sitting at the bench here doing some detailing this is all going to be hand brushed so took me two weeks to get this thing tore down and started painting so it's probably going to be another week or two before you start seeing this as it comes together so i just wanted to make sure i kept you guys in the loop so, everybody, as usual, Ron Hellman, what do you think about that detailing? Everyone else, thanks for watching, thanks for liking and subscribing, and once again, thanks for the comments. This is Jerry.